Good morning from Chiang Mai. Welcome. <laughs> um, this is day um, four. We think. <laughs> it's getting hard to remember what day of the week it is. Um, pretty much this is a quick sort of an update. We have a really nice sunny day outside as you can tell, which is a bit dull. We're getting a bit of rain. So Saturday we basically was null and void. Uh, I think we landed at... I was about one o'clock. Yeah. yeah, so we got here back Our to time here was about 11.30, 11, 11.30, something like that. We're about three, four hours behind here um, from from home anyway. So, uh, yeah, basically all we gave two tosses about was catching a, uh, a taxi. We actually called a taxi, it cost us 300 baht. Which is about is $12. It, we, were, we were knackered. We hadn't slept for, I don't know, 26, 28 hours or something or other. So, it was a bit of a rugged flight over. We couldn't fly, well, I stupidly sat and watched a couple of movies, um, but we never really slept very well on the flight. Um, that was the eight, eight and a half hour flight from... That was from Brisbane to Singapore. Mm. And but what, what I'd like to add with that one is we got um, the beautiful vegan meals, and we got a huge meal, and then um, about maybe an hour, an hour and a half later, we got another one which was called a snack, mm. which was like a burger. So <laughs> it's worth uh, ringing up the airline and telling them your dietary preferences because the other good thing about that is you actually get served first. So they bring out all the dietary needs first. Yeah, so that was nice. They, they come out and catered for us first. Um, there was the snack we had at, I think it was like 11, 12 o'clock at night. I can't remember what time it was. Um, and they forgot, they forgot about me. And my wife says, notching away on her nice little hand, I could have forgotten about. Um, the reason for that was I was looked after by this side, and he was looked after by that side. And I always got mine first, and he had to sit there waiting. Like forever and a day. So, yeah, because we were in the centre, so he had three seats in the centre, and he had three on each side. And Anne was in the centre seat, so she would look up from the other side, and I'd be sitting there for. I'd have been near 15 minutes, 20 minutes while they're serving everybody else, and then I'd get my meal after Anne's finished hers, which mm -hmm. was, so should have been served. That was quite a good flight, and then we had to good. spend the eight hours in Singapore Airport. Yeah, so that flight was pretty good, and we had the nice meals, and we had the movies, all that sort of stuff. I had uh, closed my eyes for about half an hour and uh, had a bit of a, a dose. And then uh, we arrived in Singapore Airport, and that's when we started to really get tired, and because it was late at night, uh, most of the shops were closing and unless you paid exorbitant rates to get somewhere to rest properly, you had to find maybe a seat or a floor somewhere and uh, mm. can tell you to, add, to add to the um, sleeping discomforts or the plane was purely our fault or my fault anyway, I was in a pair of shorts and, and a normal shirt and she was rather cold on the plane, my legs were like blocks of ice so half of the not being able to sleep was my fault because I didn't wear anything warm. The plane was kept at a reasonably cold um, yes, temperatures cold, yes. and the airport was just as freezing as well. So if you're flying anywhere around, just make sure you do take some nice warm clothes. The, on the trip home, we will be, I will be in tracksuit pants and long jacket. Yeah. I'm they telling do you, give you a pillar. They do give you a pillow and a, a blanket, little blanket. Yeah. And, uh, but it's not warm enough no. after a while. At, at the beginning it is, it's warm, and then as, as you're sitting there for those long periods with the aircon, yeah. um, it, gets air pretty cool, cool. it gets pretty cool. Yeah, so that's that's one word of advice. And we, you know, we tried to, you know, sleep in lounge chairs and stuff like that. It was a bit, you know, I'm probably lucky if I had five minutes sleep because we had a guy with some rappy music playing in a little shop there, so he never got quite enough to actually yeah. try and sleep. And, and the, the other issue was the food. Um, uh, it was hard to tell what it was. Uh, there wasn't a lot of English around, and I did find some um, curry puffs and some vegetarian spring rolls, but again, that was greasy processed food, and I actually got quite a bad stomach from that. Um, so maybe, I don't know, <laughs> we have to find something we could take with us or, but just be very aware that uh, when you go to another country it's not necessarily that easy to find the food that you need in these airports. Mm. And the other issue with Singapore, we thought it would be like a, a haven of duty free prices and 
we didn't really see that much difference from the prices there and the prices in Australia. Um, you know, you're talking about maybe saving 50, 60 bucks, maybe. Yeah, but then again, on, on eBay, you, know, you could probably get similar prices anyway. Yeah, so, so. We, had, we had a list of stuff that we were interested in looking at. Um, and then, of course, I went through the checklists in Australia, duty free, and like I say, it was maybe forty, fifty dollars cheaper. Um, that's off eBay. And um, when we got to Singapore, there wasn't a great deal. There was a lot of fashion stuff. We were more into technical stuff. I mean, clothing we're going to do here in Thailand. But the technical stuff is basically expensive everywhere. We've even looked here in Chiang Mai and. Um, the te technological stuff like cameras and mm. um, what do call it? Uh, a drone was another thing we are looking at and a few bits and pieces for our computer setups. That's and right, and like it's that. all more or less the same price as a rate. Not worth, window. not worth the hassle, really. Um, clothing and stuff, stuff like that here is different. Yeah, although we haven't but, seen much of it yet. Yeah, but yeah, but anyway. so those eight hours in that airport, and then yeah. we ended up sleeping behind a big pillow. A pillar, not a pillow. Pillar. <laughs> to Excuse me. Pillar. Accident. So you had the wall where uh, you had the wall where you went and seated. So when you were, we were at our uh, what was it terminal our that gate, we were going to leave, yes. our gate that we were going to leave at, and you basically had to go through and get your bags checked again for whatever reason. Uh, and then you've got a like waiting area, and you got to fill out your paperwork for when you arrived on, on in, at uh, Chiang Mai um, at your destination, I should say. Um, so we're sort of sleeping behind a pillar with our feet against the glass wall that was the waiting area when you, when the um, uh, flight service opened. Yeah. And you know, once again, because I was not dressed correctly, my feet were like blocks of ice. Oh, that was another point I had to make too, is this little pack you got, which was absolutely beautiful. You got this little pack on Singapore Airlines that gave you a toothbrush, it gave you toothpaste, it gave you, I think it was ear cleaners, uh, and it also gave you a pair of socks, which I sillily forgot to put in the bag to try and keep my feet warm. So I got this beautiful little pair of socks that I actually got from them. And he um, had me in Brisbane Airport buying a pair of socks, which sort of went to waste because yeah. I had to pay $17 for those socks, and I regret that. <laughs> eh, well, well, I've got another pair of socks. But yeah, so that, that was another thing I forgot about. So I had the socks on, but I was just, it was just so cold. They had the temperatures mm -hmm. so low in Singapore. Yeah. It was just, it was too hard to sleep. So we finally hard. got on the last leg, which was with Silk Air, which I think is a domestic uh, part of Singapore Airlines. Yes. Again, very nice flight. And we did, the lady came up and asked if we had ordered the vegetarian vegan meals. And we said yes. So yeah. again, we got, um, we got fed first got again. Fed and, first. And, and, <laughs> The, the service, once again, it, it, to, to, to answer that, it is a, a, a leg of Singapore Airlines and Silk Air. Don't know if it's domestic flights, but it might be their smaller airline, not too yeah. sure. Um, you're probably yeah. right there, it does a smaller runs from them, but they were lovely, fantastic flight again. The gentleman we were sharing, the, we were in three seats, the yeah. gentleman there moved over to another seat that was vacant, So because yeah. Dave was really, really tired at this point, gone. so he was able to lie down with his head on my my knee, so he had two seats. Yeah. So he got um, maybe a couple of hours of sleep on that flight, which was good. Yeah, I don't know if I got a couple, but I got a little bit of sleep. I think it was a bit of like in and off and on and on <laughs> type of sleeping. So yeah, so when we got here, finally, it was. I have to admit, the the um, new new system they have with your passport, you stand at a gate. There's like a, a gate, and this is a customs, and you turn in your your photo of yourself. You turn it face down into the machine. And then you've got to stand there and, and no, that's not that section. Sorry, you take your photo and you put it in and then it checks your details and it opens the gate up and then you walk forward. When you pass your um, passport over, you're supposed to stand on like these little pair of feet and you look at the camera and what it does is a facial recognition. Anne's worked fine, mine, I wasn't in the right spot, I don't think. And he was standing on his heels, not his feet. Yeah, I was <laughs> not in the right spot anyway, so I then. I got sent to another one where they had uh, you actually had a physical person checking you. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, yeah. really, what and did it take us ten minutes to get through? Yeah. Uh, and our bags actually arrived. Everything was on time, and yeah. then we kind of just staggered out near the gates there. And there was a lady going, you know, taxi, 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 uh, at a little booth, three hundred baht. I mean, like, what was it? Eighteen dollars or something? I mean, Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. We're told by a couple in Singapore airport that. 
Uh, it could take hours to get through customs when you arrived at Chiang Mai because they were quite um, <coughs> rigorous down at um, yeah. Phuket. But we went we went through really really quickly, we were so lucky it didn't with take you. any time at all. You do have to put your bags through an X-ray machine as you leave. Yes, but no one's stopped us look for our luggage. And all your bags, it. also your your carry-on gear as well goes through. But you don't do like no, all the other airports. Not oh, sorry, end. my apologies, no. no. No, 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 just your main bags. <coughs> yeah, she said just your main bags. Yeah. So we'd already, when we got on the flight of Silk Air, we had to put our backpacks through. Again, but yeah. at the other end, through customs, you didn't need to do yeah. that. But you yeah. had to put your suitcases through an X-ray machine, basically. Yeah. The only thing they cared about was the laptop, I think, was the only thing. Yeah, so don't worry about taking your iPads or anything out of your bags now. Just yeah. They're just interested in your laptop yeah. out of, the, out of your, your carry-on luggage. That's and it. That's it. And they had a thing about my cap. Yeah. Uh, I found out it's because you can hide stuff on your cap or something, yeah. I don't know. Also, if, if you're taking little packets of personal stuff, you have to take that out of your, yeah. your carry-on luggage yeah. and put that with your laptop. Basically, we only all, the only stuff we carried on us was our electrical gear, which we we're not going to leave in the bag. So, it's my laptop, <laughs> my um, iPad, my iPhone, uh, my iPods and stuff like that, when we moving and had her camera gear with her. Bags normal, so that's the only stuff. And her laptop, of course, mm -hmm. and her iPod, oh, iPad, and stuff like that is the only stuff we carried in our backpacks. Yes, uh, and a change of clothes and underwear we thought probably be safe um, just in case you know we turned up in Chiang Mai and our luggage ended up in Burke somewhere. We had a change of clothes in our bag, that was it. So that, that was basically our, our flight from Brisbane here to Chiang Mai, yep. and next we'll let you in on the last four days that we've had here.